<laughs> lovely, lovely. Just tricked you there. That's got to be with you, especially on the time you come out of the And it doesn't matter how you like Especially when I don't Oh, Jesus. Good afternoon, people. Can I say, I have a sort of guest who I've been doing the last couple on my own. God knows what, well, actually, no, we will be showing the right way, won't it? Right, we're on day one. We're currently on December the 3rd. Hopefully, I'll get this one up today. We're on day one of the uh, French, our French friends, I can't remember how you pronounce it. Savoir, Savoir, anyway. Our French friends from um, In Connection with Beer Hulk. We brought the camera when it was on black, oh, the camera, <laughs> the, ad, the advent calendar on a Black Friday deal uh, via Amazon. It got sent from France. Um, I've already cheated and know everyone that's in there. <laughs> Check <laughs> out I'm yourself, a, you have to have a look. <laughs> I'm a little sod like that. Um, obviously, I'm going to do them in the right order. We're actually going to catch up and do a joint review with Anna and John. Yeah, that would be great. From our beer group. But we're, as I say, we're a bit behind, but we will work for them. Anyway, we're going on Gritty Young Thing. Um, the first thing I thought when I saw the name of that was Pretty Young Thing, the Jackson <laughs> song. But this is Jopen and it's a heavy herbally, heavy, heavy herbal sweetness. 33CL coming at 7.5% ABV and it's a, it's a Groot Owl. I mean, God knows. Um, this Groot Owl welcomes you with a lovely full and herbal mouthfeel. Slightly smoked and herbal tones match perfectly with sweet and heavy taste it will take you there god knows where <laughs> <laughs> oh god no it's just sounding interesting name i want to drink you oh no, i was about to say now something else but yeah i want to drink you gyt pretty young thing you're copying me you little gits <laughs> it does look i want to drink you gyt in brackets like jackson did with pyt pretty young thing we added lovely group herbs I'd rather listen to Michael Jackson personally than drink this. There you go. Being that I like the King of Pop, I suppose I probably would. Anyway, let's give it a shot. 7.5%, it's got a bit of go to it as well. Yeah, unfortunately, we know from our friend Anna, she wasn't exactly over impressed. Daniel said it was all right, but I don't think Daniel knows where he is. He's been he's been talking to our friend Mr. Rosendahl too much lately. We didn't have the job on glass. We have done a job on before on the sub, and we've also got another job on to do, haven't we? So yeah, that looks very, um, okay, okay, here we are, let right, me show the bottle. Right, let's take a bottle first, so here we go, this is what we've got. God, Jesus, he might like that. And right? as you can see, this is coming up, it's a really, it's almost a muddy brown kind of colour, but I'm putting that up to the light and there are some amber tones in there, there's a good bit of carbonation. Although the head is quite small, it's flattened out quite quickly. I was going to say, it don't look like shit without the makeup, does it? <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 Okay. Right, yeah, I am getting some real herbal notes from the smell of this. A little bit earthy as well. So I've got a bit of the old yuppie flu at the moment. I'm so. picking up um, maybe a little bit of dried fruit, sort of prune or plum kind of smell. But yeah. Okay. Right, I'll do a quick snap of this. This is possible that this could actually blend well together and um, be a very nice tasting beer. Or it could go the other way and be absolutely horrible. Yeah, I can't believe they said. So it was named after Jacks. I like this in a way. Yeah, <laughs> I think it was too much plain words for it not to be. Um, yeah, well, I didn't read that thing. I mean, what did I say to you straight away? PYT. Mm. Yeah, see, I'm getting that. That dark thing that sometimes puts me off, but then I know from um, her, her tongue Bok not to be such a judgmental asshole before I've even tried something. Yeah, you got to get, 
I think sometimes the aroma is a really good indication of what you're going to get on your palette and sometimes it goes totally the other way and it isn't at all. No, I'll let you go first. No, no, but when we when we were first reviewing beers, we were only ever going to do Vise and beers and perfect draft kegs, weren't we? I'm always picking up a little bit of an almondy smell though. Certainly not, certainly mm. not picking up pink white tea, that's for sure. a very small sip. Do you go again? Make sure you always, always say. Yeah, I'm gonna. I want you to taste. Mm -hmm. Go on, go in and have a taste. Yeah, it's mm. for me. This, this is quite warming. It has got herbal notes in there. It's quite earthy, there's a nice few carbonations, moving the flavours around. For me, it's really got a peppery hint to it. Yeah, I, I can get that. I can also get um, the licorice hint that Anna said about. It's how I like licorice. It's not full on on it. I think, I think maybe that's why I'm picking up the end. Because there's something in there that I'm just going, no, no, I don't like it. Yeah, um, <coughs> I'm putting individual flavours that I'm getting on my palette together, and I'm thinking, yeah, this could work. And then at the end, I am getting something that probably is a little bit liquidy that it just it's definitely do liquidy it for on me. the aftertaste. Yeah, got that it's on the aftertaste. Right. Yeah, you say I don't mind the aftertaste. It's the it's the God knows what it bloody well is before it. There's um, a kind of <coughs> um, earthy herbiness, and there's also a real peppery feel to this. Which I think maybe is the smokiness that they're trying to describe in there because it is is quite as spicy and smoky and there is a definite hint of kind of pepper there. Um, it's definitely not PYT. If if I was getting more of that fruitiness, the kind of um, raisin and plum and that kind of thing on this, rather than that licorice on the aftertaste, I would probably like it a lot more. But for me personally, I not keen on that flavour. You see, I don't mind the aftertaste, but I'm saying it's getting to that. But it's, you see, the funny thing with me is, and I'll always be this way, yeah, I know I'm a fussy sod, and most of you that are watching this video or will <laughs> yeah, watch this I'm video now, now, right? <laughs> I'm put off because of the way it looks. It's already lifeless. It looks like some muddy water that's been dragged in from the puddle outside, and I'm pissed there, and she's trying to give it to me to drink. <laughs> That's, but that's, I'm, I'm very much still. It is very brown in colour until you hold it up to the light and you, you can see some um, sort of amber tones in there. Yeah, I'm, but I do go on appearance a lot. I, I, for me, appearance counts a lot, especially on a beer, because I don't find it easy to, to drink something if I don't like the look at it. Look of it. You know what I mean? You go to a mm. pub, a lifeless pint, you're put off already. And that, you know, yeah, the carbonation, there's a little bit of carbonation still in there. The head didn't last long. Mm. And it just looks poor. I mean, people say, thank you, Royal, it's poor. But because I've got used to that, could I get used to that? I'd have to say no. I do like licorice no, on the aftertaste, I but that's <laughs> because I like licorice. Like, for argument's sake, the sour I've just done. Mm. It's okay for me because I love lime. And as I explained in that, then I love lime. Stop if it. I didn't like a lager, I'd put lime into it to make it taste yeah. better. But if you don't like lime, you're done for. Yeah, you're not going to like that particular drink. On that, yeah, at least. Um, I think overall, this drink combines its flavours that it's got in it really well. Um, it does have that, that herbal hint. Yeah. As it's going down, but it's, there's just not enough of it. It's like, it's 7.5%, 7 7 but it's very, very thin bodied. As you drink yeah, it. you're not, you're not getting that kind of heaviness that you get from a stronger beer. Yeah, it's got no depth to it. Definitely agree to you. What's um, all? It's got a nice aftertaste, and it's that's not. The beer I don't like. Yeah, so I like a licorice, <laughs> but and I do agree with, as I say, what Anna said about when Anna, Anna and John drank it. But mm. this is. Would I drink this again? No, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't go, go out my way to drink again, this no. again. Though. Where did it come from, France? There you see. And, and it was in the UK, Bill Rock and Leeds. Mm -hmm. uh, I get it. Okay. Uh, our friends then. It's really weird because they work with our friends at Heineken. I mean, yeah, craft beer, 
1994. But so we do have another. I think we got their book to do on the sub. Um, and we have had another Jopen that was quite decent. We've had it before as well, didn't we? Because I tried to get the glass. I don't know if it was a Jopen pills or something, but mm. I just can't recommend that. I'd have to go along with Michelle on the know here. All those flavours are there. If they're the type of thing you like, you are going to like this because it isn't a bad beer. It just doesn't personally do it for me. Yeah, but depending on what you like, like some weird yeah. old herby freaky thing, claim it to be bloody pretty young thing then yeah if not then i've got to say no you know um i was excited when i looked at it and i read that i didn't read the thing till today yeah and i kept thinking gritty young thing pyt my favorites one of my favorite songs from the thriller album back in the day and um i kind of knew what to expect because obviously anna done it on the first of december two days ago in our beer group so yeah for me sorry it's a no-no yeah I'm, I'm not going to give it a rating, I'm just going to say, day number one of this calendar was unfortunately a no for me. So, bonjour people. See you next time.